Hey, welcome back to Hogtown Homestead. Sorry it's been a while since I've posted new videos. We have had my friend Micah in town and we've just been focusing on having fun with him and uh, not making these videos. So, welcome to Hogtown Homestead. Like and subscribe if you feel so led. Today, we're gonna talk about pasture cleanliness. And I'm gonna show you all of the things that the, these pigs have found and why pasture cleanliness is so important uh, on your on your pastures so first I got to move the pigs got to do the rest of the farm chores and then I'll show you why pasture cleanliness is so important so now I'm gonna go do chores <laughs> So they actually started trying to go through the fence. I had to push the sow's head back through the fence because her head was stuck in it. I looked up to see if the camera had me in the frame and you were on the ground. So, sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna finish up the chores with the chickens and the guineas and then I will talk to you about pasture cleanliness. All right, folks, I'm back. Chickens are fed, pigs are moved, everything's taken care of. And now we're gonna talk about pasture cleanliness. I'm gonna show you why it's so important to keep your pastures clean because the owners that lived here before us did not do that. And so there are some consequences that we have because of that. So here we go. This is a bucket of things that my pigs have found. Also all these rocks, there's tons of broken glass in there. This old chain is something that the pigs have found. So let's just go through some of this stuff real quick. This is some kind of steel rod. This is another kind of steel rod. I don't know what, the, actually it's a rubber rod of some kind. There's just a whole bunch of trash. So that is a piece of quarter inch steel plate that's been cut and left out on the pasture and buried. This, I'm not even sure what this is other than a part of a plow that was sheared off or something and and was buried in the pasture here's some wood let's just dump this nah, I'm not gonna dump it out but here's an old I don't know rollerblade wheel no idea tons of rope out on our pasture but now I'm gonna show you where they have been recently because I haven't been able to clean up after them yet and I was going to save that for today's episode. We're going to walk to where they just were. 
for the last two days. Actually, I'll walk around this way. So, as I moved them this morning, I found a horseshoe. I found these pieces of paving stone. This old spring, which was in one of their mouths, and I had to get it out by hand out of their mouth. If you've ever tried to get something out of a pig's mouth, have fun with that. So then we walk over. This is where they were just yesterday, last couple of days. Here is an old faucet. Here is, I don't know, some old plastic PVC. If we go further, here is a rope that they have found. Now, fortunately for us, the pigs actually don't eat things that aren't food. They sure try though. Here's a lid to something. Here's uh, what looks to be an old piece of tire. Here's another piece of tire. Here's a big curved piece of PVC, I assume. Here's some cloth. Here's some, I don't know, wiring of some kind. This looks to be just wood, so that seems harmless to me. And then here's where they were four days ago. And four days ago, oh, one of the things I forgot to show you in the last pasture, we found more of this rectangular paving stones. Some old labels in here, who knows what from. I think I've done a pretty good job of coming in here and checking to see if there's, to make sure that there's nothing inedible in here. Rocks and stuff, that's fine. I'm not too concerned with rocks. But we move down here and we begin to find more things. So this is where they were eight days ago. And we did find a lot in here. I think we cleaned up a lot. Um, and see, this is just a part of their, I know what this is. So this isn't something they dug up. Sometimes they chew on their, on their shelter. But you gotta clean this stuff up. And so if you have pastures, it's super important for you, if you're working on something, the tractor broke or whatever the case may be, clean up after yourself because you can find a lot in your pastures that's not very good for your animals. Um, I've found cabling in here. Here's, a, here's another example over here. Uh, where is it? Here's a big piece of rope. So pasture cleanliness is very, very important. And the lesson for me is, you know, the people who had these pastures before us probably weren't intent on trashing those pastures, right? And so it's easy to forget what you brought out to the field when you're doing work. It's easy to accidentally leave some stuff up, uh, some stuff out. And then it does not take long for that stuff to get buried uh, just by, you know, what nature does. So, so if you, if you have pastures, get rid of stuff like this as you find it or as you leave it as you're working on stuff because it'll make it a lot easier for the next guy, which hopefully are your kids. It'll make it easier on you because you won't be worried about what your animals are getting into, what they're finding on your pastures. 
and it'll make your pastures a healthier place for animals. I found a golf ball in one of my pig's mouths one time. That would have killed her if I wasn't able to get that out of her mouth. So make sure you're cleaning up after yourself, which is something that I need to do. You know, in my one of my last videos, I tried doing some harrowing work with a uh, with a uh, a hog panel, and that's still out on pasture. So I need to clean that up. As a matter of fact, I seem to remember buying eight hog panels, and right now I only have seven accounted for. So I'm gonna be moving the pigs over where I think I left that hog panel, and hopefully they'll find it for me. But pasture cleanliness is super important. And with that, I'm gonna clean up all this trash, take it to the dump, and make sure I haven't missed anything. But thank you so much for joining us here on another beautiful fall day on Hogtown Homestead. We're up to 47 subscribers, so for those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. It's tons of fun uh, making these videos, and we hope you're enjoying coming along with us as we do this homesteading thing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment if you have any questions on what we're doing, and we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.